Hello everyone, welcome to Optics. It's the science of light and colors. I think we all love colors, right? Especially me. So, there's going to be a science booklet specifically on optics, but I want to call it also as a homework package, okay? And on the cover page later on, if you have the chance, um, I would want you to do the color wheel. And then I'm just going to give you three colors, the red, the blue, and the yellow. The violet, the orange, and the green. We'll do a little bit of color addition. And I hope you're going to like that uh, short um, coloring task or activity in class. So, our unit on optics about light. It's all about light. And it says here it's uh, an energy that normally moves in a straight line. But often, something gets in the way. When light runs into something, three things can happen. Remember this. The light can bounce off. It can go through, it can be absorbed, and often all three things happen at the same time. For example, light bounces off mirrors. You see yourself in a mirror when light bounces off your face into the mirror and then into your eyes. Light goes through glass. If the glass is bent or curved, the light gets bent on its way out of the glass. The glass in a magnifying glass or a pair of eyeglasses, like I'm wearing now, is curved so that it bends light, making things look bigger. Also, more light is absorbed by dark colored things than by light colored things. I'm sure all of you know this by now. Colors are made when some light is absorbed while other light is bounced back. Black things look black because when light hits them, they absorb almost all of the light. In outer space, for instance, there are objects with so much mass, so much material in them, that their gravity can bend the path of the beams of light. Now, um, once you have the booklet with you on page 16, there is an interesting uh, reading passage on the properties of light. So. I just summarize everything here. It says here, light travels out in all directions from its source. Light is made of little particles called photons. Light travels in straight lines called rays. Light travels at the speed of light. Light can travel in a vacuum, meaning empty space. Light can be absorbed. Light can be reflected. Light can be refracted. This one that you cannot see, it, this is light can be uh, transmitted. Now, um, for the activity uh, in this video, I want you to visit the site, uh, physicsforkids.com. Let me just uh, click on that. And uh, this is a very interesting uh, site and of course i want you to focus on light here okay so if you click on light on the right side you have all the very interesting topics here so i want you to go through the overview or the intro em radiation em stands for electromagnetic radiation something about visible light light its structure and reflection refraction lenses and lasers so i want you to just um, read through this take note of um, the words that are in bold face are highlighted so read through this okay and what happens after that so here on a loose leaf or any unlined paper that you might have at home I want you to list 10 interesting and new information or facts about light. And at the back of it, a short DYU. DYU stands for Draw Your Understanding. So any objects or pictures that come to mind while you are on this site, just draw it. And of course, you need to add colors. 
So, a very simple task, right? So, I don't want to overwhelm you so much in this. So let's leave. And of course, I will also be putting in this assignment a set of Google Slides that you can use when you watch Bill Nye talk more about light. So if you see this, I'm, I think I'm going to just uh, include a link in a Google assignment so that it would be easier for you to click on it. But if it is a slide like this, you know by now how to just uh, go for the uh, site, right? You can just click slightly here and there would be the site right away. Or you could click on percent and there would be this link here. You click on that, okay? And of course, um, there would again be the Bill Nye video clip form. I think uh, you are no stranger to this. Uh, you've used this when you did the Disney World assignment, right? So here, so again, uh, try and just uh, put in the title, the length of the video clip, and then use full sentences. And can I make a request? Can you just put in number one, two, three, four, five, and then list and define. So give me three new words. And then give me the meaning in your own words. And then you can say yes or no here if you like the video or not. And on the second page, again, cut and paste from the internet um, ideas about uh, optics, about light, about energy. Okay? So that's going to be the uh, work in this uh, assignment. Okay? So I will end. Uh, on this note, ciao for now and uh, keep going, people. Thank you.